Hello everyone, Logan from Curated Avalon, and today I have the latest free write model. This is their Alpha e-ink typewriter. This is going to be their slimmest model. I'm very excited to try it. I haven't even seen this in person yet. I pre-ordered it back in the fall, and it finally came. So if you're familiar with my previous free write videos, you'll know that I have really enjoyed this product as a whole. I like the, forgive, I've got a puzzle going on in the background right now. I have the larger models, the full size smart typewriter. I tend to need keys that have a lot of feeling to them because I have loss of feeling in this finger from an accident. Uh, so I need a little bit more to that keyboard for my fingers to be able to really be efficient with it, as opposed to a flush keyboard. The Alpha, however, is supposed to have a flush keyboard, so why did I bother ordering this? Well, after getting several referrals from my audience using my referral links, I was able to purchase this so I can try it on the channel for y'all. I've been getting a lot of questions as to whether or not this would be a good product for journaling. I think it is personally regardless of the model, but if you're really interested in a journaling model, this might be it. So I'm wanting to try it for those purposes. So the packaging, very slim. We have the free write logo, their motto, write on. Zero distraction, Wi-Fi cloud syncing, lightweight and portable, fast refresh display, mechanical keyboard, and the desktop kickstand. I'm really looking forward to trying that. I'll give it to him on the nice and tight packaging. I went with the black model. They do have like a speckled gray or white. It does come with a USB cable. That's for charging. I have little... Words are hard for you, right? I love their mottos. They're so cute. It's very true. Ah, we have the user manual. It's a little quick starter guide. Looks as though it functions the same as the other models. And some of the short keys. goodness it is so thin and very lightweight it feels like something I would have had in the 90s okay so getting more of a bird's eye view the device is very thin we have the back with the little kickstand here Has a nice little bit of an angle there. I'm gonna try to shift it to see if I can get that kickstand to fall. Turn it around so you can't see it. I know that's really annoying and oh, I'm gonna mess up my puzzle. Let's see. Okay, really can't get it to move there. Let's see. This flush keyboard. And with the kickstand, which is just at first use a little bit more comfortable. Oh, that is quite nice. Either way would probably work for me, but I, I, I like the kickstand height. So going on, I'll go ahead and turn it on. So this is going to be the power button. Just press and hold. 
that was actually so much faster than I, than I had anticipated. The full size models take a little longer to boot. So to start, I'm just gonna press new and new. And that's it, you can start writing. So hitting the other keys a little bit more easily would take a minute to get used to and also do have that little bit of an issue. I would have to use this for a while to see if it was better or worse than the full size typewriter for me, but uh, so far it's very comfortable. I don't really have an issue with the overall feel. Typing on it with the kickstand down. I think it's a little easier with the kickstand personally, but if you're setting in your lap, it might be the other way around. So this is very exciting. I'm kind of baffled at this point that this device is this thin. I don't know if I've just got used to having big and bulky devices and enjoying that, uh, but this is really cool. I mean, you can set this, it's the thickness of a notebook, maybe even thinner than most of my notebooks, I don't know. Um, but wow, I mean, just stick that in a bag and just go. That's so incredible. Even with a sleeve on top of this, the profile is incredibly thin. So I am looking forward to trying this out. This is gonna be a lot of fun. Uh, look forward to more videos in future with the Alpha. I'd love to hear your comments below, questions, anything you'd like to know. I'm going to try to journal with this and see how I like it. I wanna see if the aesthetic is the same for me as well as the keyboard style with my smart typewriter. So that, that larger size, do I like this better or that one? I'm thinking the smart typewriter, that full size is going to be my favorite, but for portability, you really can't beat this model free, right? Thank you so much for watching. Comment with your questions below.